Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how to create ledgers in VT transactions. So for that purpose we will come in setup menu. We will click on accounts and we will click on all. So we will get all accounts here. These are the default accounts. We can also change these account as well as we can also delete these accounts. Okay, this is a group of cost of sale and inside the group we can see the accounts. For modifying the accounts, we'll click on particular account and we'll click click on properties. Here we can change the name, we can set whether it's out of scope or inside the scope. Similarly, we can move one ledger from one group to another group easily. We can also delete the ledger from here. I have to just click on particular ledger and I'll click on delete. So it will be removed from here. I can see the entries of that particular ledger. Currently, I don't have any transactions. Okay. Now let me show you how to create new account. Suppose if I want to create new income account, then I have to come into the income group. I'll select particular ledger and I'll click on new. So you can see new income account. I have to just enter the name of that particular ledger. And I'll select the scope of VAT. Okay, so you can see our account has been created. Similarly, suppose if I want to create a ledger into the, into the expense group, then I'll come into the expense group. And after clicking on new, I'll just enter the name of that particular ledger. Okay, legal charges. In the same way, we can delete any account by clicking on delete. Now, let me show you how to set up bank accounts in VT transactions. So, for that purpose, we'll come in bank option. These are the default accounts, current, deposit, and petty cash. We can also modify this account, we can delete this account, and we can also create new accounts from here. Let me modify this account. I'll enter the name of my bank. Then after short code account number over limit i can also set this account as my primary bank account and after i have to enter the details of bank and all the things after entering details we'll click on ok and you can see the hsbc bank here i can also delete this account i can also move this account from here Similarly, i can also see entries of this account from here Let's delete this account and create new one. So for that purpose, we'll click on new. Similarly, I have to enter the details of my bank, Barclays, current account. After entering all details, we'll click on OK. OK, as you can see, our new account here. In the same way, we can create, modify, and delete supplier and customer, which I am going to explain in new video. Okay, this is for today. Thanks for watching. Kindly like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.